volunteers, now I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to remain safe if you're working in the butcher shop area. Remember the butcher shop area is the front part of the writing center. When visitors first come in, they're going to see black bags again hanging on their left. So one of the things that you want to be aware of in this section is that there will be black walls. We use black garbage bags and essentially hang them like a clothesline all the way across. And so you want to make sure that you understand what is above you, where are the, these plastic walls, and to make sure that they stay up. Now we simply affix these with command hook strips, which you probably are aware of, but they sometimes pull off, okay? So if you're working in any particular area where there's a bag wall next to you, or even a partial wall that doesn't go all the way down, you'll want to make sure that it's safe and secure. Again, you're going to want to look up at the steel beams or at the vents. That's where those things are going to be attached. If you're working over here as a captive, remember underneath our computer stations will be cage wire. The chairs will be removed. The wires will be pushed back as far as we can. And you're essentially going to be on the floor, as you can see. Now, what this means is if you are working in this area, you're going to be working with wire. The wire is not going to be attached. You can instead think of it that it's going to be sitting on the floor in front of you so that you can push it. In other words, you can push it open or push it off you. Now, the cage wire itself is very light. Anybody who works in this area, I think, will be really comfortable using it. But you do want to watch out for anything that you would normally watch out for when you're working with wire, especially wire cages. It could cut you. We're going to try as hard as we can to sort of blunt the ends of the wire that we cut. But you do want to be aware. Remember that you're going to be acting and moving in and out of here, which means you're going to want to be checking whether or not you're touching something that could cut you. Okay, one of the other things you might want to do in this area is make sure that you understand how tall your cage is. It's not that tall from here to here. Remember, it's, it's not the main wall. It's under these computer stations. So you're going to want to take a really good look underneath to get a sense of what's back here. So these wires will remain where they are. Hopefully they'll be pushed back to the glass. But you're also just going to kind of want to watch out for these kinds of things. Even if they're nice and secure, you can still get tangled in them a little bit. So again, be aware that there's stuff on the floor. And also, you've got essentially a table over your head. So obvious things like don't stand up too quickly. You can as a popsicle. Oh, I'm sorry, as a captive from this spot. You can stand up. If you push your way out of your cage, for instance, would be cool. But then if you're going to stand up, you want to make sure that you don't hit your head. Okay, seems obvious, but as we're acting, we forget about these things sometimes. If you're working in one of these areas that are close to the glass, you want to remember that glass, just like anything else, no matter how sturdy it is, can break. These couches and chairs will be moved out of the writing center which essentially means you're working with the glass all the way behind you, okay? Captives are going to be in these areas, pretending to be secured to the wall or this metal beam right above them, and that means that there will be some things hanging in this area. For instance, there may be ropes that are attempting to look like chains. You want to make sure that those are secure. We're probably going to secure those from the vents, but we're not sure yet. So you just want to be sort of aware where things are hanging in your area and be aware of the glass behind you. Now, one thing that I want to show you for sure is that if you notice at the bottom of the glass, there's this little ledge. It seems like no big deal, but if you back up too suddenly or go into it, you actually run the risk of breaking your ankle. It's actually three or four inches tall, and if you step back on it, it could really hurt and that's also a way that you might accidentally break the glass. If you're working sort of in the middle part of the butcher area, one of the things you're also going to want to be aware of is that there are going to be partial walls hanging from here roughly over to there. So these people will definitely have bags and things like that hanging above them, but there's also the skin wall. Now the skin wall is made, again, out of fake skin, and it, that means anything that's sort of above you 
can accidentally be pulled down. So you're going to want to be aware of that. Right about here, you want to be aware of any props and things that are on the floor. And remember, this is where the pit is going to be. The pit is essentially a group of boxes that we've made into walls. It will be somewhat secure, but there is the chance that it can fall over or that you can run into it. Now, it's cardboard, so it probably won't hurt, but we can't leave it down on the ground if it does fall. We have to immediately get somebody. So again, if you're working in the butcher area, you want to go ahead and get me. I'm going to be working right over here in this middle wall section because I'm working as a skinner, okay? So I'm going to be pretty accessible to everybody, and then I can make sure that we get somebody in that can help us redo the wall if we need to. One of the other things for this area is to make sure that you're aware of the props. Now, the props are largely things like the intestines that we've made out of foam. Some of you have already seen these. They're extremely cool, but they also can pose some risks to us, okay? So if you are somebody that is holding one of these props, you want to make sure that you have it securely with you. When you use it and you want to put it down for a minute, you should put it down in your area. Don't just leave it where you are. What can happen is stuff can fall on the floor. Now, there will be some things on the floor, some of these props. They will get stepped on by visitors, they'll get stepped on by you, and that's okay. We assume that lots of this stuff will get broken. But you still need to tell somebody that you've noticed that a prop is, is broken or has fallen down, or even if the prop that you're using has broken, mostly because we want to make sure that we don't trip. Uh, people are usually aware when they go through a haunted house that there's going to be stuff on the ground, but we certainly don't want them to be <laughs> scared or running and to fall over one of the props, okay? So make sure that you're aware of the props, where they are, where the general area is, where they belong, and again, notify me if you see anything that is broken that you think needs repair. As we go over this way, I also just want to point out, very similar to the back section, the lighting for the butcher shop is going to be both on the ground and hung up. So the middle wall, if you're used to it, in the writing center, we, we have hooks essentially that the lights will be suspended from, um, working at an angle. They will likely be lights, at least a little bit, behind the butcher station here, which is the front area of the writing center, the front desk area. There will likely be a spotlight over in this section also, so coming down again from the other side. There may be a spotlight or two on the floor or a strobe on the floor. What we try to do is position these in the corners so that they're clearly out of the way. But what you should also be aware of is where the outlets are. So most of the time, we're going to plug them in to see the far one over there, the ones in the corner there. We're going to do our best to keep the wires out of the way, but it's still possible. One of the other things that might hopefully excite you about working in this area is we do have mini strobes that, pe that you guys can hold and run around with you. They literally just fit in your hand, and therefore they're battery-powered. But you can drop yours. <laughs> And if you do, number one, if it shuts off, you may not be able to find it. And so somebody is going to come along and it's probably going to hurt to step on one of those things, even if they're mini. So be aware of also the lights that, that don't have wire with them because those can pose a danger as well if they're dropped on the floor. Okay. One of the other things, of course, in this area, one of the highlights is, of course, the captives who are going to be dragged across the floor. Now, there's going to be sort of a corridor here on the floor so that the people working in this area and the people working in this area and the people working behind the counter can use this space to drag captives along the floor. So in other words, this is going to act sort of like a dragging corridor or where we're going to be taking the captives and asking the butcher behind the counter what we're supposed to do with them. So one of the things that you definitely need to be aware of if you're doing anything like the dragging of captives first just know that obviously whether you're a butcher or a captive, we've got to be safe. We get to practice our moves to make sure that grabbing somebody or, of course, dragging them across the floor doesn't hurt too much. And you also want to be aware of the exit. So it's, again, glass doors. Everything is glass in the writing center, so we have to be super careful. At this point, there will be an actor who is probably in this area, who is going to sort of be the last scare before people make it out of the butcher shop. So there's going to be a lot of activity here. If you're working in this area, in other words, you want to be constantly looking at the glass everywhere, including the doors. 
We gotta make sure they get out of those doors safely. We're trying to decide at this point if one of the doors or both of the doors even should be open to minimize the risk of somebody running into them or pushing too hard past them. So these doors are just like any other door at TCC. It has this sort of wire and it's a push door. So there is the risk of if you open this door too far, it will literally come off. And we, of course, don't want that to happen. If that happens, we don't get to fix that ourselves. That means that we actually could be shut down until maintenance can come and fix it. So we definitely want to be careful if you're working anywhere near the doors. The last thing that I'll just tell you is if you're working behind the counter as a butcher, we're obviously not moving the front desk. The front desk is where it's going to be. But our little kiosk here, our little kiosk table, will be moved out of the writing center, which as you can see, works very well with the dragging corridor if we're dragging people behind the counter. So this stuff won't be there and that will essentially be their little pathway and then we'll hand them off to the butchers behind the counter. If you're working here, make sure you look behind you. Again, the bookcase won't move, it's metal. Shouldn't pose that much of a risk at all. We're not doing much with it, but make sure you're thinking about the ground. Again, right here, if you step back too far, you run the risk of spraining an ankle. You want to be sort of aware that there's that metal ledge right there. You also just want to be aware in general of the stuff behind the counter. A lot of this stuff will be moved, but the file cabinet is another thing that will stay exactly where it is. So you want to be careful of the metal edges. If you're acting in this area, you'll likely be coming from around the counter. So you also want to be careful of the wood angles right here as well. This is a small corridor, but it's a great corridor to act in because you have an immediate access essentially to everybody through the little slot right here, okay? If you're working over here also, remember that there are going to be intestines and other things hanging, probably from all the way up here with the vents, which means you want to be aware of the intestines or different props that are hanging above you, and also the wires. There's likely going to be lighting right here hanging above you, so if you're working in this corner, you want to make sure that nobody gets in trouble with the string, with, with the wire coming out of these lights. They are not battery powered for this area, and there's actually an outlet under right there. So again, this will be pretty close to out of your way. You're also going to want, as you run around this corner, to make sure that you don't step on one of these ledges. Again, that's just a couple inches, but it really can hurt when you do it. And the last thing, is if you work in this area just like any other area, make sure that you know where the, others are actor, where the other actors are and what it is that they're supposed to be doing. Help them. <laughs> if you see that somebody needs a break or somebody says that they need to take a break, go ahead and ask them, hey, can I, I can work in your area for a minute. You guys are gonna need to communicate to make sure we all feel sort of rested and we're hydrated the whole time. The butcher shop area will likely be really hot and there's also smell effects in this area, which means you're gonna kinda of wanna do a gut check every once in a while and make sure that you don't have a headache or that you feel nauseated or any of those things. And if you do, you can go outside to the safe area. And I'm gonna show you guys what the safe area is, whether you're working in the deep freeze or the butcher shop. So you can look on the safety orientation for the safety zone. And I'm gonna film that and so that you guys can sort of see where you can take a break and also where you should go if there's an emergency. Okay, we hope you have a great time working in this section.